And we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to recreate the SNL effect in Photoshop. Here are some examples I found on Google. There are variations to the basic effect. Nothing really complicated. We will work on an example that I've created for myself. Let's just open a new file. 1920 times 1080 should be fine. We will use this image of a pack that I found on Unsplash. You can find that via the description link below. Let's open a new layer, give it a new name, background. You have to use a pastel color and you will find these up around here. If you now change the hue, it doesn't really matter. It's always a pastel color, kind of. And that looks good on these effects. If you found your color, just click on OK. Now we activate the paint bucket tool and make our background in that pastel color and then drag the background layer below our image layer. Now we want to cut out the park from its background. We'll use the quick selection tool. If you have never done that before, I'm going to link a video of mine in the description below as well that goes over this process a little bit more in detail. I'm going to speed this up for this image. So if you have never done that before, go back, click on pause, go to the description and use that video first and then come back. So you're done with your basic selection, click on Ctrl 0 to zoom out, then click on layer mask, click on select and mask, refine edges. At first we'll increase the radius a little bit and then we will refine the edges with the brush tool. Just a little bit. When you're done, click on OK. Afterwards, we want to work on some details. Just make sure the layer mask is activated, that you have black and white as color selected. And then use the brush tool to reveal and conceal. White reveals, black conceals. You can switch between those by pressing X. I'm going to speed this up once again. So we're done. Now we want to use an adjustment layer black and white to make our original black and white. We can create a clipping mask. Right click and then clipping mask. Now we use filter, camera raw filter. Sometimes SNL uses an effect that has more clarity and a little bit dehaze in it. We can even desaturate this specific image a little bit more. When you're done, click on OK. Now we're going to copy it by pressing Ctrl J. Then right click on the copy layer and we will work with the channels. But let me first move our copy a little bit so that you can see the effect applied. Just go over all of the channels, try different combinations. And when you have found something you like, just press OK. Now we can move our copy layer and reposition it. We will now activate all of our layers and group them by pressing Ctrl G. Then press Ctrl T to transform it and we will reposition it once again.
I am still not satisfied with the channel selection. So let me try a different one. That looks better. Afterwards, click on adjustment layer here in saturation. Whatever you do now, it always looks good as we have already created the right pastel color. We will increase the saturation a little bit in this specific case. And we will go down with the lightness slightly. At this point you can once again change the channels if you want to. I like it the way it was, so I'm going to keep it that way, but it's okay. Now we will take care of the text. Just type in SNL in all caps. As a type you can use Impact, Arial or Franklin Gothic. These are the free fonts that are already inbuilt in Photoshop and they work quite well. I'll choose Franklin Gothic for this example and make it bold. As a color you should pick a color that is in the image that you have used or in this case in our copy of the image with that single color channel. The positioning is very important in these SNL bumpers. So I'm going to test out some compositions. We need to make the single letters a bit closer to each other by using VA as an option. You'll find that under properties or in the character menu. If you want to decrease the distance between two single letters, just select one and then use VA to only have it applied to that specific letter. And now our oh, result looks way better. Well, let me try out different compositions. Maybe I reposition our pack image a bit. Let's transform it and make it a bit bigger. And put the text around here. That looks fine. This is the basic effect. As I said, there are a lot of variations to it. Try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.